Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer with the University of Alabama Libraries and today I'm going to talk to you about finding sources in the area of the health sciences. Three databases I'm going to be demonstrating for you today are Medline, PubMed, and CINAHL. These are three helpful databases in relation to medicine, nursing, and the health sciences, so let's get started. The first database I'm going to demonstrate for you today is Medline. Medline is compiled by the National Library of Medicine and provides more than 24 million references from biomedical and life science journals dating back to 1946. It is directly searchable as a subset of PubMed, which I will be discussing next, and is available through numerous search services that license the data. Access to Medline from online search service Ovid is freely available for all University of Alabama students through the University Library's website located at www.lib.ua.edu. All you have to do is click the databases link clearly located on the home page, then type Medline into the search bar. The link will then appear at the top of the page. If you are on campus, when you click on the link, you will automatically access the database, and if you are off campus, then you will be prompted to enter your MyBama login information, which will then grant you access. Medline searching defaults to the Advanced Search option. Using the Advanced Search option, you can combine separate search terms using AND to find the intersection between those terms. You can use OR to group similar terms together. In our search today, we will be looking for articles on heart attacks and women who smoke. Our three major concepts will be heart attacks, smoking, and women. I will now enter our first concept, heart attack. Keeping in mind that when searching Medline, it defaults to map term to subject heading. Medical subject headings are controlled vocabulary used to index articles in biomedical literature. To see the definition of a term, related concept, and history of the subject heading, you click on the scope note link. The term myocardial infarction is the medical subject heading used for heart attack. I will click the checkbox next to the term and click continue. I have the option of searching a subheading as well. This would allow for a more specific search. At this point, I will not use a subheading and click Continue. When I do this, it will actually search all subheadings. You can now see my search history, which at this point is only myocardial infarction. We can now search for our second concept, smoking. This will be similar to the first search by clicking next to an appropriate subject heading and clicking continue. Again, I will bypass choosing a specific subheading and click continue. As you can see, both myocardial infarction and smoking now appear in our search history. I will now combine these two searches to find all citations that contain both myocardial infarction and smoking as subject headings. To do this, I will click the checkboxes next to each search, then click Combine Selections with AND. As you can see, I now have a much smaller set of results. To complete the search, I now need to add the concept of women. I can do this by using the limits that are available on Medline. Limits are a way of refining a search and getting a smaller set of results. Some limits are available on the initial search screen. And to see more limits, you can click on Additional Limits. Some limits available include a full text limiter, publication year, age groups, and publication types. There are also options to limit your results to articles in the English language, as well as articles focusing on males or females. In this case, I want to limit my search to articles dealing with women specifically. 
I will select female as well as English language and then click limit a search. You can now see we have retrieved a smaller set of results that are specific to our search for articles about heart attacks in women who smoke. The next database I'm going to demonstrate for you today is PubMed. PubMed is another service of the National Library of Medicine. Its more than 25 million references include all those included within Medline, as well as others, such as articles that are out of scope from certain Medline journals or articles that are in process before they have been indexed into Medline. PubMed is freely accessible to the public through the National Library of Medicine's National Center for Biotechnology Information's website, located at www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov backslash PubMed. University of Alabama students can also access it through the University Library's website. Unlike Medline, PubMed does not default to the Advanced Search option. To access the Advanced Search option, you simply click on the Advanced link underneath the search bar. Again, we will be searching for articles related to heart attacks and women who smoke. To begin the search, I will search for the terms heart attack and smoking connected using AND in order to find articles referring to both heart attacks and smoking. Once I type my terms into the search bars, I simply click search. Now it is time to limit our results. In order to do that, I'm going to click show additional filters on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to click the check boxes next to languages and sex. This will allow me to then limit our results to articles in English that deal with females. We will then have results specific to our search for articles about heart attacks in women who smoke. An interesting feature of PubMed is its Clinical Queries tool. On the PubMed homepage, you simply click on the Clinical Queries link. And this will allow you to search for systemic reviews and specific types of research studies using certain clinical categories such as therapy, diagnosis, etiology, or prognosis. To demonstrate, I will conduct a search on communication and mechanical ventilation. I will then set the category to therapy and the scope to broad as opposed to narrow in order to include more results. In order to apply the limits, you will need to view all of the articles listed in the column, so I will click on see all. This now allows me to apply the limiters. Medline and CINAHL, the next database I will be discussing, both have a clinical queries tool as well. An important thing to note is that one of the limiters available in PubMed is text availability, which allows you to limit your results to article abstracts, free full text, as well as a full text option. If you are accessing the database through the World Wide Web and you need the full text of an article, you will need to use the free full text option in order to access articles that have the full text freely available. However, if you are accessing it through the University of Alabama's University Library's website, then you can use the full text option and you will have access to all University Library subscriptions. The third and final database I'm going to demonstrate for you today is CINAHL, or the Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. CINAHL provides coverage of over 3,000 journals from the fields of nursing and allied health with references dating back to 1937, 
It is a subscription service accessible for all University of Alabama students through the University Library's website. An important thing to remember when using CINAHL is that it has a unique limiter that Medline and PubMed do not have, and that is that you can limit your search to articles in which any author is a nurse. This option is beneficial because not only will it search nursing journals, but any article in which a nurse is an author or co-author. There is also a first author as a nurse option, which narrows your search even further by limiting your results to only articles in which a nurse is the first author. To run our search on heart attacks and women who smoke, I will use the search bars to search for heart attack and smoking. I will then use the limiters to limit our results to articles in the English language that deal with females and then click search. This will then provide us with results specific to our search for articles about heart attacks and women who smoke. So there you have a breakdown of the three major databases in relation to nursing, medicine, and health sciences. Medline, PubMed, and CINAHL. These three databases are straightforward and easy to use and can help you in your search for information within different areas of the health sciences. I hope this tutorial was beneficial for you, and thank you for watching.